In this example, we'll convert entire radicals to mixed radicals. In part A, we'll convert root 24 to a mixed radical. First, we'll use the prime factorization method. Start with root 24. Find any two numbers that multiply to 24. We'll use 2 and 12 in this example. Twelve breaks down to two and six. Six breaks down to two and three. We now have the prime factorization of twenty-four. There is a pair of twos. The pair of twos collapse to a single two on the outside. Inside the radical, the two and three multiply to become six. The answer is 2 root 6. Now we'll convert root 24 to a mixed radical using the perfect square method. Start with root 24. Find two numbers that multiply to 24, one of which is a perfect square. Let's use 4 times 6. Split the radical. The square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 6 is irrational, so we'll leave this as a radical. The answer is 2 root 6. Now we'll convert root 72 to a mixed radical. We'll start with the prime factorization method. Rewrite root 72. Find any two numbers that multiply to 72. We'll use 9 times 8. Nine breaks down to three times three, and eight breaks down to two times two times two. We now have the prime factorization of 72. There is one pair of threes and one pair of twos. The pair of threes collapse to a single three outside the radical, and the pair of twos collapse to a single two outside the radical. These values are connected through multiplication. Inside the radical, we have a 2 remaining. Simplify to get 6 root 2. This is the answer. Now we'll convert root 72 to a mixed radical using the perfect square method. Start with root 72. Write 72 as a product of two numbers, one of which must be a perfect square. Let's use 9 times 8. Split the radical. This gives us 3 root 8. Now be careful, we are not done simplifying since root 8 can be taken down further. Write 8 as a product of two numbers, one of which must be a perfect square. We'll use 4 times 2. Split the radical. This gives us 2 root 2. Simplify to get 6 root 2. In part C, we'll simplify root 49. Forty-nine is a perfect square, so root forty-nine is just seven. Even though we already have the answer, let's see how this could have been done using the techniques we've been using in this lesson.
Start with the prime factorization method. Rewrite root 49. Forty nine breaks down to seven times seven. We have a pair of sevens. If everything is pulled out from underneath the radical, use one as a placeholder. This gives us seven, which is the answer. Now I'll try this using the perfect square method. Rewrite root 49. Forty nine is seven times seven. Split the radical. When multiplying identical roots, the radical symbol disappears. For example, root 3 times root 3 is just 3, root 7 times root 7 is just 7, and the cube root of 4 times the cube root of 4 is just 4. In part d, we'll convert the cube root of 81 to a mixed radical. Start with the prime factorization method. Rewrite the cube root of 81. Find two numbers and multiply to 81. We'll use 9 times 9. Each 9 breaks down to a pair of 3's. We now have the prime factorization of 81. Since the index is 3, we need 3 identical numbers to make a set. The 3 3's collapse to a single 3 on the outside of the radical, leaving a lone 3 within the radical. The answer is 3 times the cube root of 3. Now we'll convert the cube root of 81 to a mixed radical using the perfect cube method. Rewrite the cube root of 81. Find two numbers that multiply to 81, one of which must be a perfect cube. We'll use 27 times 3. Split the radical. The cube root of 27 is 3. The cube root of 3 is an irrational number, so we'll leave this as a radical. The answer is 3 times the cube root of 3. In part e, we'll find the cube root of 64. Sixty-four is a perfect cube, so the cube root of sixty-four is four. Even though we have the answer, let's try this using the techniques from the lesson. Start with the prime factorization method. Rewrite the cube root of 64. Find two numbers that multiply to 64. We'll use 8 times 8. Each 8 becomes 2 times 2 times 2. We now have the prime factorization of 64. Since the index is 3, we need 3 in a set. Circle each triplet of 2's. Pull out the 2's. Simplify to get our answer, 4. Now we'll use the perfect cube method.
we write the cube root of 64. Find two numbers that multiply to 64, one of which must be a perfect cube. Use 8 times 8. Split the radical. The cube root of 8 is 2, so we get 2 times 2. The answer is 4. In part f, we'll convert the 4th root of 48 to a mixed radical. We'll start with the prime factorization method. We write the 4th root of 48. Forty-eight is the same as eight times six. Eight becomes two times two times two, and six becomes two times three. We now have the prime factorization of forty-eight. Since the index is four, it takes four identical numbers to make a set. Circle the set of four twos. The set of 2's collapses to a single 2 outside the radical, leaving a 3 within the radical. The answer is 2 times the 4th root of 3. Now we'll convert the 4th root of 48 to a mixed radical using the perfect 4th method. We write the 4th root of 48. Find two numbers that multiply to 48, one of which is a perfect fourth. We'll use 16 times 3. Split the radical. The fourth root of 16 is 2. The fourth root of 3 is an irrational number, so we'll leave this as a radical. The answer is 2 times the fourth root of 3.